This tutorial was based on one of our themes, which we used the same framework, just the different contents and the demo data. So, it might be slightly different from the theme you are using, such as logo, images, demo data, and some examples. However, as it is the same framework as you are using, we can follow this tutorial without any confusion. Let's talk about the theme setting first. Theme setting is the most basic options you might need to add for the default. Let me change skin first. We added skin change options this time. You can have a backend skin colors. If you like dark mode, you can choose one of them. Theme setting is for the default options you might want to set. Rank images for the default image. When you don't have any images, it only works for the fixed pages. Some of widget has the same features to add the default images. You can add a default map mark when you don't have. When you create a map page, you can also find a, an option to add default map mark. If you want to add map markers on each category, you can also visit category section and add each map markers like this. Preload is when you visit a page, you might find a spinning icon and overlay. When you enable it, you can see a spinning icon and overlay until the page is completely loaded. Floating menu is uh, located on the right side and uh, you can enable and disable it. We use it for the same uh, demo connection, the links, and also you can customize it. If you like, you can use it. You can add some contents or some event or whatever. To use it, you need to add a show code of the template. The template can be found on uh, Java page builder and it doesn't really have any specific category of uh, page builder and you can create any template and just copy the show code so basically the show code id is a post id and you just need to copy everything and paste it on the same setting then uh, the template will be displayed this option is for the some Chinese or some uh, special character languages and we found a few Chinese uh, languages have some uh, different encoding part then uh, you can use this option but uh, most of the languages you don't really have to use it Disable Google Maps If you wanna disable Google Maps or just wanna use uh, listing you know, list of types you can disable it as you may know, you will not be able to use any of the features from the Google Map API key, such as uh, geolocation and finding address or nearby something you know related to Google Maps. As you may know, we have template builders for the each part, such as the header and the footer and the detail pages or archive pages. And uh, this is the place to set the, the default uh, template. You can set the default uh, header first. This is gonna be the global header, global setting as a default. If you don't have any other templates, then uh, this uh, header will be displayed all of side. You can find a lot of templates from the, our demo import. You can use one of them, or you can also customize them. If you want to create one, then uh, you can create one by uh, Elementor Page Builder. We have uh, the widgets are ready, then uh, you can drag and drop and create them. If you are using listing type for add-on, you can set the templates by uh, listing types. Let's say if you have uh, several listing types, such as uh, real estate and the directory and the car. Then they might need a different header and the footer and the detail pages. Then you can create each different header and footer and detail page templates and uh, select them on each uh, listing types. 
then they will have a different structural templates for real estate and directory and car. I'm gonna have a tutorial about the listing type. This is gonna be really good. You might wonder which template shows first if you select multiple places. The priority of a template is first sim setting and listing type pro setting and each post and pages template setting. You can also set different templates on the posts and pages and also listing pages. And the highest one is a payment setting. You can also set different templates on the payment. When your client purchases the template, then that's gonna be the highest priority because he paid for it. Footers are also same. You can choose one of the footer templates. Uh, we didn't find a lot of people need so many uh, footers. That's why a little bit less than the headers and the other pages. Pages setting. We have a three dashboard. Java dashboard, WordPress Java dashboard, WooCommerce dashboard. Java dashboard has been improved a lot this time. Your users will be able to manage a lot of information there, such as post listings and orders and favorite reviews and everything is there. We also added the uh, skin options. Each users can have different skins by themselves. So they can have uh, dark mode and light mode or blue color or red color. And they can have also different menus and also site admin can control it. Hustle page. Hustle page is different from dashboard. Dashboard is for management of their data. But the hustle page is when someone, another user, visits their page, then it shows. We have the templates ready and widgets ready to build. This is one of the user's page. It's different from dashboard, right? It shows about the hustle's contact information. If you want to remove, you can also remove it or customize it. And about the, the author's description and the contact form and the list of uh, author's uh, listings. Uh, if you want to customize it and create another one, also you can do uh, by our page builder. All uh, widgets are ready to use. Post page template settings. You can set the post detail page template and also post archive template. As you may know, we already provide uh, some demo of uh, the templates. You can choose one of them or can create or modify the current one. Listing pages, add listing. This is for subwoofing form link. This will work on the user's menu or head subwoofing button. If you are using listing pro, you might have uh, different uh, listing types and uh, listing forms. Then create the selection of listing type to link to the submit forms and select the page here. Default single listing detail template setting. You can find the multiple listing detail page templates from the, our demo import. Please select one of them. If you want to create a new templates or customize uh, the current one, you can visit our uh, page builder and customize them or create more listing detail pages. Listing archive page. This is mostly list or map pages. If you want to create more or customize more, you can copy the map page or list page you like and paste it on the archive page. Portfolio page is basically, um, you know, the normal portfolio page. If you want to use it and enable it, and then you can use. Service is also currently uh, we added. Uh, this is working with the download part, and then we will add more features there. And if you want to use now, you can use it. The next one is for the old users. You don't have to use it. Google Map Info window is when you click the mark on the map, it shows a small pop-up. Then uh, you can choose uh, the normal one or strip view. If you want to customize or add another information, you can also use our preview template. 
Logo in settings. Redirection. This will be redirect to the, the page after you log in. We have four options. Dashboard, home page, current page, and uh, WordPress page. So after they log in, it goes to the this page. There is also agreement uh, link on the login and sign up. You can create a page for the agreement. Then you can select the page here. We also use model for the login and the sign up. You can create a template or you can uh, choose uh, the template we created and uh, select. You can also customize it and also you can create more templates. You can find the uh, sign up and the login uh, templates here. You can create one and also customize it. Full page. We found a lot of people don't want to show WordPress login and the sign up page. Then you can create the pages and select the pages here. Then the WordPress login and sign up page will be replaced uh, your customized uh, pages. You can choose them here. If you want to build new ones, these to be built on the pages. Then go to pages and add a login widget and select the pages here. Restriction your site without the login. If they are not login, then they are not able to see or access your site. Once you enable it, you will find an option to choose another front end page. This is gonna be the front end page when they are not login. Once they log in, they will be able to see the, the original homepage and uh, be able to access all of the site. Job dashboard. Job dashboard is uh, basically for the display. You can manage their uh, data. You can hide the menu and disable and enable here. It's by user's roles and you can disable and enable the menus on the Java dashboard. If you hide them, then uh, users cannot see the menu. This is the highest priority to set the hide and show the menus. Once you hide, they cannot even see and use it. Users also have the option to hide and show the menus. But if you disable them, they cannot even see the menu to enable or disable them. There is also selection for the sport page. Your user might need to contact you if they have any questions or problems. Then you can create a page for contact us or sport. Then select here. Then uh, they will contact you via the icon. Advertisement campaign. You can create the advertisement here. You can set here title and description, the max amount of advertisement, and the price from the WooCommerce, and give them more uh, detailed images to where it will be placed. You can also add more and delete them, and also change the order by drag and drop. Once you create them, they will be on the user's dashboard. Your users will see the advertisement and apply whenever they want. If you want to see all of the advertisement list, you can also see on the advertisement list. You can find how many days left and which package they applied and which listing is on the advertisement spot. Custom CSS and JavaScript. If you have any custom CSS and JavaScript, you can add here, it will be applied to the Audible site. If you have some CSS to apply specific pages only, then you should use uh, the widget the custom CSS area. Then it will apply the only the pages. We use WooCommerce for the payment. As you may know, WooCommerce is basically for the shopping or e-commerce. However, listing payment is a digital product. Then you don't need to get the all of information about the shipping address or shipping information to send the product. 
you can hide the card or shipping address or i billing address if you don't want to ask them to fill out everything let's purchase one of them see how it look like let's uh purchase this one and it goes to the checkout page instead of a card because you disable the card page and you just need to add uh, the simple information as you wish instead of a full information of a shipping or billing address let me disable and enable some of our features then it uh, immediately apply on the checkout page If you want to issue coupons, WooCommerce provides coupon options. You can create uh, some of your coupons and provide uh, your favorite clients or your friends or your family. Then they can get some discount. We have WooCommerce WordPress theme. If you want to buy it, please buy it and you can use uh, other options. You can create a product detail page, filter page, and a guide page as well. And you can set them up here. Everything is possible to customize, such as a detail layout and a archive layout and all of typos. And create a multiple uh, templates like this theme. This is one of the cool features. Your users can post blog articles on the front end. Then you may need to create a front-end submit form, which include the show code. You can add the show code and select the page here. Useful links. We organize the useful links to access directly. These are mostly what we are using for the listing. You can just find what you want and click. It goes to the page to set up. Instead of finding the menu and finding the options. This is good. Import and export. This is basically theme setting data backup. If you want to backup the current settings, you can copy and save somewhere. And you can import here. Additional settings. We have added a skin change option recently. We have found that many of our clients wants to have a dark mode and a different skin. You can choose the different colors and the different skins. However, it only works with our pages because it can be conflicted with the third party plugins or software. Okay, I think we have done. Thanks for your time. And uh, if you have any problem or questions, please contact our support team. And please stay with us. We are planning to have more video and tutorials, including new template and new listing types. As you may know, our template and theme is quite flexible to build a different template and a different listing type and the website. I'm gonna do some with you and I'm gonna share how to do it and the files. Okay, thanks for your time and I'm gonna come back with another tutorial.